Salvific. Here's a new word for you. This might be good for civility practitioners and so on. This is an adjective. It means having redemptive power or redeeming. And this is a word that is really uh, useful and interesting, I would say important even for civility practitioners because there are many actions, many uh, words, many gestures, uh, depending on what culture you're in, that can have this redemptive power. So in civility um, techniques course, one of the things we want people to learn, especially in workplace or if they're in positions of power, is... Um, of course, we want them to acknowledge and take responsibility when they make mistakes, but we also want them to understand what we call repair behaviors. So uh, repair behaviors include things like apologizing. It includes things like uh, warm gestures, what we would call high-touch approaches. So knowing when is exactly the right moment to hug someone appropriately or when you should extend a gift or an offering. Uh, re redeeming behaviors include things like third-party gestures where maybe you ask someone to intervene or interpret uh, on your behalf so that further um, inconsistencies or miscommunications don't happen. This concept of uh, a salvific approach, a salvific remedy, repair, um, it's really important as a person who is human hyphen kind to understand the value of that. And I also think it's really critical that as an individual, we have a sense, and some of this is emotional intelligence, but we as individuals have to have a sense that what we consider to have salvific power. So it may be that you're simply saying sorry to me is not going to redeem you in my eyes. It may be that I need to experience a different or new behavior from you in the future related to that same topic or issue. Or it may be that I need you to repair maybe by way of cost. So sometimes this works in service situations. If yes you apologize, maybe I acknowledge and accept that something was not deliberate or an outcome was out of your control, but if it costs me time, money, or energy, it may be that the word sorry in and of itself isn't enough. To be a salvific gesture, I require that that apology also includes a reimbursement or a gift certificate, a voucher, or something of that nature, an opportunity for me to experience a new and different, more acceptable behavior. So um, this can be subjective, as you might guess. Every individual, but potentially depending on culture, age, generation, gender, might have a different view of what constitutes a salvific gesture or word. And so we have to use our social intelligence to pay attention to that. Next time you make a faux pas, next time you offend someone or hurt them, Consider civility and think about what is the best salvific approach in this particular context. I wish you good luck and thank you for visiting Consider Civility. See you again soon.